In this video we will continue our journey aboard China Airlines from Vienna to Hanoi because just recently we shared a video of what it was like to fly on China Airlines Airbus A350 from Vienna to Taipei in economy class, which if you haven't seen it already is definitely worth checking out too. Today we'll focus on all the intricate little details, the overall comfort and quality of China Airlines brand new Airbus A321neo and what their short haul economy class is like these days. I'm very excited you've decided to join us on this trip, so let's get going. Aviation geeks and frequent flyers, welcome to this new episode of our flight review series Brutally Honest, where we focus on showcasing as many different airlines and their products and lay out every little detail worth knowing. We have just arrived at Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport, which consists of two main terminals, split up into four concourses. China Airlines and their partners can be found in concourses A and D. Even though we're just transiting between flights, I briefly want to touch on how you could leave the airport. Aside from road-based transportation, the Taoyuan International Airport Access MRT is available to you. This line takes you to the center of Taipei in slightly over 30 minutes, as well as down south to the city of Taoyuan, where you can connect to Taiwan's high-speed rail line, which runs along the western coast of the island and connects all major cities, from Taipei in the north, over Taoyuan, Taichung, Tainan, all the way down to Kaohsiung, making the airport easily accessible by rail for almost everybody in Taiwan. This is also why the official name of the airport isn't Taipei Taoyuan International Airport, it's Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport, as it serves as the main international gateway to the entire island. We have just arrived at Concourse D and are now heading over to Concourse A for our connecting flight to Hanoi. While the airport is not as flashy as others across Asia, it works very efficiently and is also spotlessly clean and features some thoughtful pieces of art across the terminals. Its straightforward layout also makes it easy to navigate. This is the main arrival and departure hall of the airport. It was opened alongside the rest of the airport in 1979 and designed by Taiwanese-American Tung Mian Lin, who took inspiration from Eero Saarinen's iconic 1958 design of Washington Dulles Airport's main departure hall. Taking us down to Hanoi today is this brand new 2022 built Airbus A321neo registered B18107. China Airlines took delivery of its first A321neo in late 2021 and its fleet has since grown to 10 planes, with the first one even featuring a Pokemon special livery. By the way, all the plane and seat drawings in our videos are actually drawn by hand and I'm so happy to have partnered up with a content creator based in Taiwan who we commissioned for these graphical elements. He has an amazing Instagram account I highly recommend you follow, at aviationvolume. China Airlines' new A321s will replace the older Boeing 737-800s, but that doesn't mean China Airlines will become an exclusive Airbus operator anytime soon, as they will replace their A330s with Boeing 787 Dreamliners starting in 2025. And just like with the A350s, China Airlines put a lot of thought into their A321neo cabins. Instantly notable is the presence of the persimmon wood grain on the cabin walls again. Up front, each plane has three rows or 12 seats of business class, featuring the state-of-the-art Stelia Elysium seats. If you want to know what flying in it is like, fellow air travel creator Josh Cahill has a great review on it, so check out that video too. Behind that is the standard 3-3 configured economy class cabin, consisting of 168 Collins Aerospace Meridian seats, each fitted with a personal entertainment screen. Compared to the A350s and 777s, the economy class seats now feature lighter tones, which are accompanied by various colorful LED mood lighting modes. Above you, you may find personal reading lights and adjustable air vents. Each seat comes with a sizable entertainment screen with a USB port and audio port at the bottom. Standard tray tables are installed too. But what stands out compared to most other seats is the fantastic layout of the seat back pocket and the very good legroom for someone who's 183 centimeters tall. 
the seats have standard recline and removable armrests. Before departure, a crew member approached us and thanked us for being a Sky Team status holder and offered me a beverage which was very thoughtful. China Airlines has both a Boeing and an Airbus special livery. This is the Boeing special livery and the Airbus one could be seen on the A350 we flew on back in 2019. It's pretty cool that China Airlines embraces special liveries like that and they've had plenty of different ones over the years. Now it's time to head out. Before they serve lunch, let's have a look at what the IFE has to offer. Aboard its A321neos, China Airlines features the Saffron Rave Ultra system, which includes the possibility to connect your own Bluetooth headphones to the system. Just like on the A350s and 777s, which are equipped with a different entertainment system, the A321neo 2 features a wide variety of local and international movies and TV shows, which are available on demand. The aircraft is also fitted with onboard Wi-Fi, which includes complementary use of messaging apps. However, it's important to note that this is not a Panasonic system like on the A350s and 777s, therefore a Wi-Fi pass purchased here does not transfer onto the other plane systems. Music and games are offered as well, and Flight Path 3D is installed as the in-flight mapping application. it's time for lunch, and for a flight that's under 3 hours, that's a fantastic meal. The choice was between fish with a side of rice, or what I went with, the noodles with chicken, which were served with some steamed vegetables and a marinated egg. Alongside it, China Airlines provides a warm bread roll and butter, some sweet snacks, fresh fruit and a salad. Afterwards, tea and coffee were offered too. starting our descent into Hanoi, I'm once again very happy with having chosen to fly China Airlines. For us, the airline has always been a breeze to travel with, since its reliability extends from its schedule to an always amazing onboard product, great crews and superb meals.
that, welcome to Hanoi, from where we'll continue down to Sydney aboard Vietnam Airlines Airbus A350. A brutally honest episode which will be out next, so make sure you are subscribed to our channel. To everyone still watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and special thanks to all those of you who support us with a paid channel membership. It's thanks to you that we can continue to explore new airlines and revisit old ones to offer the most comprehensive flight reviews here on YouTube. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your endless support, thank you for having subscribed to our channel and if you're only stopping by for this one video, thank you for watching. I'll see you again for a new video next week and I'll till then, safe travels.